been intriguing since we're on the, um, you know, let's take just, uh, you mentioned um, what happened. You, obviously, one of the big themes of the UN General Assembly was sustainability, reaching those goals. We've seen these tragedies in places like Libya and Morocco, which, you know, are complicated for the U.S., yet this, uh, you know, I think big rush of U.S. aid, it's, it's a tool of influence as well as being a tool for good. Do you see that? you know, shifting it all, whether it's, you know, a Biden or a Trump administration, USI, USAID and, and our way of interacting with the rest of the world, how much does that come down to geopolitics? Just out of curiosity and how much of it's just, you know, routinized where there's a disaster, we will step forward to help because China's now looking at that as a powerful tool as well for building influence. Well, they were. Uh, the Chinese are doing less of it uh, because their economy is underperforming so dramatically. I mean, the Chinese do commercial diplomacy and industrial diplomacy much more effectively and at scale than the Americans. And when you look at the developing world, particularly the poorest countries in the world, the willingness of the Chinese to put serious money on the table, not link it to potentially unpopular political and economic liberalization and instead mm -hmm. link it to what can we do that you leader would like and that can be corrupt or it can be open and above board and either way is fine by us we just want to get this done and by the way you're voting with us not with taiwan here's what you're doing with us militarily all this stuff right um that works and and that works at scale uh better than what the americans do so when you talk to sub-Saharan uh, African leaders, when you talk to South American leaders, you talk to Southeast Asian leaders, particularly the poorest on the planet, um, they see China as doing a lot more. Now, China's doing less than it used to, and the Americans at the G20 summit have made some announcements about this new, you know, sort of transport corridor that's gonna go from India through the Middle East up to Europe, yeah. And, and it, you know, it matters at the margins, but the Americans still have nothing to compete with Belt and Road. And, and the United States is not a state capitalist system. In other words, most of the investment that comes from the U.S. is made by private corporations yeah. that are not necessarily patriotic. And so in that regard, um, it, you know, it doesn't really matter what the U.S. government is doing with a lot of these countries. So, I mean, Microsoft and the Gates Foundation have, you know, are, 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 have, have you know, a, a wonderful relations with a whole bunch of individual countries that do not redound to the benefit of the U.S. government. And, and so the I'm aid such a, I'm not, not, I'm not, I'm not I'm just 20 country companies, yeah. But let me close the loop. I agree with you. I think the foreign direct investment, China's been very powerful at expanding its sphere of influence. In terms of the aid, that's, um, that's not something that you think really is going to be impacted whether it's Trump or Biden or anybody else in the White House, just because the needs seem to be yawning and growing, um, you would just say that that's something that should not be on our radar right now is open to debate. Um, look, of course it's open to debate in the sense that um, Trump, you know, ideologically is an America firster, is more of a unilateralist, even rhetorically, uh, many leaders are, are, are unilateralists in action. Um, and, and you know, his willingness to say, if you don't do what I want, I will cut you, whether it is, you know, an African country, South Korea, in terms of their troops and diplomacy, a Saudi, uh, you know, military deal, buy a bunch of American stuff, uh, or even Mexico and defending the southern Mexican border, which worked, but was you know, pretty, pretty ham fisted. Yeah, um, I would say that, you know, Trump is more willing to use aid in overtly transactional and threatening ways. Frequently, that will work out for the Americans in the short term. Uh, it does not buy a lot of trust. Um, but sometimes it will it'll work out badly. Um, and so that that's it's not it's it's not like suddenly there's just a whole scale change in the way we think. Yeah. About aid.